Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going over some frequently asked questions about Tower Fantasy. From the game's release date, the chest size slider, game requirements, and more. I always cover topics like this, so if that's something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and let's jump right into it. During the most recent beta test, players were confused to see the chest customization slider get removed from the game because it's undoubtedly one of the more important aspects of customization for most players. The good news is, Taro Fantasy's Japanese account on Twitter confirms that we will still have this customization option. A Japanese player tweeted out a question directed to Tower Fantasy regarding the chest size slider, which then the Tower Fantasy official JP account replied, letting us know that the chest customization option will be available when the game is launched. They did not tell us if they're making adjustments to it, or will it be the same as before. I guess we'll just have to wait until the game is released. And speaking of, we still don't have an official announcement from any of the Tower Fantasy official social media accounts regarding the exact release date. We only have the expected release date from the Apple Store which is set on August 11 but with that said, I want to emphasize that this is only an expected release date. This is the planned date for the game's launch but it can still change depending on what happens during the last minute game adjustments because they have to make sure that the game's launch goes as smoothly as possible. I know that a lot of you will be playing Tower of Fantasy on your mobile devices, and I also read some comments asking about the game's download size, so we're going to talk about that right now. Tower of Fantasy is an open world game, so you can expect a big download size. The Chinese version of the game currently has a 10GB file size, so I'd say reserve around 10GB of free storage, and if you can, maybe save up to 15 to 20 gigabytes, so you don't have to worry about making room for future updates. Tower of Fantasy is pretty optimized based on my experience during the closed beta tests. I played on PC with a mid-range computer and I had no problems playing the game on high graphics above 60 FPS. So here's the minimum requirements and recommended specs for different platforms to see how your device will handle the game. The game will run hot on mobile just like any other graphically intensive games, so I recommend getting yourself a controller shaped phone holder. You can easily find ones for cheap and it will really help you especially in longer gaming sessions when your phone runs hot. Let me know if you guys want me to make a guide on how to make your mobile gaming experience better, and I'll work on it as soon as possible. With all that said, that's everything I wanted to cover in this video, I'll be covering more Tower of Fantasy and other gacha gaming related content. So if that's something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, it really helps in growing my channel and this community. Also let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.